Paying off small accounts or remaining balances in default can indeed help improve your credit score as it demonstrates responsible credit management and reduces the negative impact of delinquent accounts on your credit report. Here's a detailed explanation of how it works, how to do it, and considerations to keep in mind. Here's how paying off small accounts or remaining balances that are in default helps your credit score. One, removes negative entries. Paying off small accounts or remaining balances in default removes the negative entries associated with those accounts from your credit report. Delinquent accounts, such as charge-offs or collections, have a significant impact on your credit score. By paying off these accounts, you can eliminate or mitigate their adverse effects on your credit score. Two, improves credit utilization ratio. Delinquent accounts contribute to your credit utilization ratio by increasing your total outstanding debt. Paying off these balances reduces your overall debt burden, which can improve your credit utilization ratio. A lower credit utilization ratio is beneficial for your credit score as it indicates that you're not heavily reliant on credit. Three, demonstrates responsible credit management. By resolving defaulted accounts and bringing them current, you demonstrate to creditors that you're taking steps to fulfill your financial obligations. Responsible credit management, such as paying off delinquent debts, is viewed favorably by lenders and credit scoring models. It signals that you're committed to repairing your credit and can positively impact your credit score over time. Here's how to pay off small accounts or remaining balances that are in default. One, assess your financial situation. Before addressing defaulted accounts, assess your financial situation to determine how much you can afford to pay towards settling or paying off these debts. Review your budget, income, and expenses to identify available funds for debt repayment. Two, contact creditors or collection agencies. Reach out to the creditors or collection agencies associated with the defaulted accounts to discuss repayment options. Inquire about settlement offers, payment plans, or other arrangements that may be available to resolve the debts. Three, negotiate settlements. If possible, negotiate settlements with the creditors or collection agencies to pay off the defaulted accounts for less than the full balance owed. Many creditors are willing to accept reduced settlements to close delinquent accounts and recover a portion of the debt. Four, get agreements in writing. Once you've reached a settlement or repayment agreement, make sure to obtain written confirmation of the terms. Review the agreement carefully to ensure that it accurately reflects the terms negotiated, including the amount to be paid, the payment schedule, and any conditions or stipulations. Five, make payments promptly. Honor the terms of the settlement or repayment agreement by making payments promptly and as agreed. Timely payments demonstrate your commitment to fulfilling the terms of the agreement and can help rebuild your credit over time. Now here are some considerations and risks. One, impact on credit score. While paying off small accounts or remaining balances in default can help improve your credit score in the long run, the immediate impact may vary depending on factors such as the age of the accounts, the severity of the delinquency, and your overall credit profile. You may see a gradual improvement in your credit score as the negative entries are removed or updated on your credit report. Two, a potential credit score drop. In some cases, paying off defaulted accounts may result in a temporary drop in your credit score, especially if the accounts were the only active accounts on your credit report or if they have a long history. This temporary drop is due to the loss of the positive payment history associated with the accounts. Three, consider professional assistance. If you're overwhelmed by debt or struggling to negotiate repayment terms with creditors or collection agencies, consider seeking assistance from a reputable credit counseling agency or financial advisor. These professionals can provide guidance on debt management strategies and help you navigate the process of resolving defaulted accounts. Four, statute of limitations. Be aware of the statute of limitations for debt collection in your state. Once the statute of limitations has expired, creditors or collection agencies may no longer pursue legal action to collect the debt. However, paying or making partial payments on a time-barred debt can restart the clock on the statute of limitations, potentially exposing you to further collection efforts. So in the end, paying off small accounts or remaining balances that are in default can help improve your credit score by removing negative entries from your credit report, reducing your credit utilization ratio, and demonstrating responsible credit management. To do so effectively, assess your financial situation, negotiate repayment terms with creditors or collection agencies, obtain written agreements, and make the payments promptly. Be mindful of potential credit score fluctuations and consider seeking professional assistance if needed. 
By taking proactive steps to address defaulted accounts, you can rebuild your credit and improve your financial well-being over time.